Let's explain a bit about how this AI agent works. There's a few different things that we need to hook up to this agent in order for it to work. We need to add a chat model. In this example, I'm just simply going to use OpenAI, and I'll just go ahead with its pre-built decisions here. You might actually go with GPT-40 to start. This model tends to perform a bit better. So the first thing that we added here was the chat model, and this is really the brain. This is what allows your agent to think on its own. If you think about a robot here, where we have a head, a body, and then the legs. Inside this head here, we definitely want to have a brain. Now also in order to make this agent work well is we need a memory. As it's talking to us, it needs to be able to remember the conversations back and forth, not just remembering the last message that you sent. So in order to add memory, we're gonna come here and we're simply going to use the window buffer memory. This is the easiest one to set up. We can go ahead and leave these details as is. And that should be everything that we need in order to test this. I'm gonna go ahead and type hello. So again, we just used this built-in chat interface to start interacting. But again, this is why I like N8N because it gives you this chat interface so that you can go ahead and start chatting with your agent without having to set up anything else. So I said, hello, and I said, hey, how can I assist you today? What are you able to help me with? So right now it's just giving us some general information on how it could help. And it's really just using this chat GPT model right here to answer any of those questions. It doesn't have any additional tools to pull from in order to help us. It can really only help us as much as ChatGPT could here. So if we were to log into ChatGPT, it would really be like conversing with OpenAI ChatGPT through the UI interface. And you can also see here that the agent is also accessing its memory so that as these messages come in, it's not forgetting the previous conversation. And the cool thing about these agents are is that you can actually see what's actually happening in that agent. How is it making decisions? What are the previous conversations it's had as it updates its memory and as it's chatting with ChatGPT and as it's using these tools, you can always come back here to debug how the agent is actually working and make it better. Remember the primary objective of this agent is to converse with whomever it is via chat and then to identify the right tool to solve the problem for the particular chat that is happening right now. And then once you identify what tool to use, whether it's to send an email, to get the contact list, or to book a meeting, it's to identify what information do we need to execute that tool. Let's have the conversation with the user to make sure we have that information, whatever it is. And then once we have it, let's execute this tool to make it actually happen.